Hi ladies and gentlemen, welcome to IT Snippets. And today, apparently, I'm going to show you how to install RTX Voice on non-RTX cards. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to have to do is obviously to download the RTX Voice application. So it's got a nice easy to remember URL www.nvidia.com slash en-us slash geforce slash guide slash nvidia dash rtx dash voice dash settings dash guide blah 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 okay I'll drop a link to that below anyway you just click download the app and wait for the app to download I've already got it as you can see here so we is good and open up your download folder and if you've tried this already, you'll realize what's about to happen. So, on RTX Voice, say yes to user account control. And it pops up an error message. The NVIDIA installer cannot continue. The NVIDIA RTX Voice application is not supported on your existing GPU. Now I've got a 1080 Ti in here. So, before you all go, ah, what you want to do is you want to click close. Then want to go to C colon slash temp and you'll find uh, an NVIDIA RTX voice and then the nav AFX folder and then you'll find RTX voice dot NVI. You have to run notepad as an administrator in order to edit this correctly. So I'm run as administrator. Yes to user account control. Put it in here file open and then we browse to the RTX folder we need to change text documents to all and open RTX voice.nvi and you'll see down here there's a folder called constraints or rather a section called constraints well what we want to do is delete that and then do file and save now with that saved we will go back and run setup from the folder that was temporary installed to and click yes I've passed the system compatibility. Click agree and continue. There we go. Installed. Click close. RTX Voice is loading. And there we go. The application is now installed. So let's find out exactly how good it is, shall we? In order to do that, I'm going to have to change some of my settings on my OBS. So I'll be back. That's the mic that you hear me talking to just now. And this is the speakers that I'm currently using, or headphones as the case may be. So, what I'm going to do now is this is me talking directly through the microphone as I'm going to cut over. I'm going to cut over to the RTX enabled one. So this is the one that should filter out the background noise. So let's find out. We should now have cut over to the RTX mic. And I wonder how different it sounds. I've seen some tests of this online and other YouTube channels and they seem to be doing an absolutely excellent job of filtering it out or filtering out background noise that you don't really want. So let's find out exactly how good it is, shall we? Let's go compare. So, um, yeah, I, I, I wasn't too impressed with that. So what I've done is I've jumped into the application. I've knocked the noise suppression down a bit because it seemed that I had to put too much pressure on it. At the moment, I'm sitting at about maybe minus 33 decibels on my viewfinder, viewfinder, VU meter, whatever you want to call it. And that's with me sitting at probably about 20% noise suppression. So it'll be interesting to see where that goes like. Uh, what I could also do is I could go into my filters. Uh, I could add a filter in OBS and I will add some, I'll add some gain to it. Uh, I don't know, maybe about 10 decibels. 10 decibels too much. Uh, no, 10 decibels seems to have brought it up originally, so I'll click close on that. And um, yeah, we're going to see how this outputs when I stop it and see if it's any better. Okay, so that was an interesting test. I, I don't see any benefits to this in my situation, but that's not to say that it's not good technology. Uh, I had to add 10 dB in post in order for you to hear it cleanly the first time. And when I tried to add 10 dB live onto it in OBS, it just sounded terrible. But I've already got noise filtering set up on this microphone in OBS, and I don't know whether they were conflicting with each other. But I'm sure that if you take your time 
and you compare settings before or after. You'll be able to tune that in and dial into what you want. But it's still nice to see it working in non-RTX cards. If you like this video, give it a like. If you dislike this video, give it a dislike too. If you get feedback in this or any other videos or suggestions for videos you believe we should do in the future, then please let us know in the comments below. And most of all, thank you for watching.